Hey folks, Kathy here with Living Miracle Homestead. Well, I'm sitting out here today and I am working with my new puppy and he is doing very well. I'm trying to teach him how to sit and I'm using kibbles. Let me tell you something, this dog could eat you out of house and home. He has grown tremendously. Hey, Chester, Chester. Turn around here. <laughs> He's at the end of his rope. Can you tell? He's got to figure out how to turn himself around. Come here. Chester, come. He knows his name. He's a good dog. I mean, a really good dog. And um, he's filling out nicely. He um, listens to his commands whenever I'm working with him. So I think he's going to uh, really do wonderful. Now, Ginger always gets in the way and she always is all rambunctious and wants to play with him and love him and I don't get to work with him like I need to so I set up this little area out here so that I could uh, sit out here in the evenings and do things and um, just enjoy my front yard as well as I do my backyard and have a place to go whenever I'm um, um, working <laughs> with the leaves and stuff. Mosquitoes about the carousel away though. We've got to do something about that. So I just thought I'd show you my beautiful little Chester here. He's such a good dog. And I, and I so much appreciate, um, Teresa giving him to me for my birthday. Well, folks, I'm enjoying my new, uh, picnic table and uh, we're having breakfast this is the second time we've done this out here David's fixing my brakes yesterday he fixed the front brakes now today he's fixing the back brakes see he's got the tire off of the back there <laughs> so we're going to eat us some breakfast and he's going to get back to it well, David did pretty good. He cleaned his plate. Well, I didn't do too good. And he won't eat mine. <laughs> but I know a little puppy that would love to have this. Actually, I'm not going to give it to the puppy. I think I'm going to give it to Nani. What do you think, babe? Yeah, I'll give him a treat. Anyways. I'm going to go give this to Nicole and uh, let him... How about it? Hey, buddy. Look at what mommy's got you. Look at what mommy's got you. There you go. Look out. Look out. Yeah. Go for it. Mm. Here, let me have a little piece for, for Charlie. And Oscar. Thank you for sharing. Oscar will love you. Okay, big mouth. I'm bringing you some too. You're so jealous. Yeah? Do you like that? Do you like that? Wild eyed boy. Do you like that? <laughs> I guess he does. You like it when mama gives you a treat, huh? <laughs> okay, friends. Well, today I'm going to be doing some tree work. And uh, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. And I got to say, this will be the first time in a long time. And, a, and very few times that you'll ever see me with tennis shoes on. Let me show you. 
Yep. Tennis shoes. Just got them out of the, uh, off the dryer where I've washed them. But anyway, see all those limbs on top of the roof? I'm going to get all those off from touching the roof. I, I'm going to leave the ones that are over the roof, but I'm going to get the ones that are underneath there touching the roof because I don't want them scraping on the roof. So, I'll show you when I'm done what I've got done. So there you go. That's what I did. Get all that off the roof. Uh, still some over there I may take off. But check this out. This is my backyard. Whew. Crazy, huh? How big it is. It doesn't look that big whenever I'm walking through it. But I got a lot of work to do. See all the vines and stuff that are killing everything it's crazy so uh, I've got to somehow get rid of those for good but we'll see I don't know how I'm gonna do that because as you can see they're on neighbors yards and everything too uh, they were across there and I don't know, they sprayed Roundup or something years ago and got them out of there, but they started traveling this way. So now I've got to get up there and get all them off of that roof too. Alrighty, <laughs> done and done. And back to my regular shoes. Now I'm gonna go under here and check out some stuff. Uh, nothing's really touching the stuff except for maybe right there and that's not anything really but if I can get a ladder over here I might take that down too uh, I may take some of these lower branches right here off although I don't want too much sunlight to come underneath here because these trees do not like their trunk being uh, open and sun being on them. If you see this tree in the wild, let me tell you, or even in groves sometimes, I don't know, you know, it depends on the grove owners, but uh, when I was growing up, these limbs literally would drape all the way to the ground. And you could go into there and make a, a really cool fort. Um, but I keep mine trimmed up. A little bit higher so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but I, that's the way I like it I like to be able to get underneath there I want to get these leaves and stuff and and put them through the machine and uh, yeah <laughs> can't wait to mulch all this well folks I'm a little bit agitated two of my meat birds have got issues one of them's got a tore up chest and one of them's got a tore up back. Crazy. Anyways. Ginger, get out of here. You're not supposed to be back here. This is what I've been working on today. I got all that off of the roof and I didn't even get to bring those down here, around here. But as you can see, I got me a big old pile over here. That's the second pile I made today. I'm gonna spread that out. But you hear you hear David running his mouth over there. I'm taking some of that uh, cherry tree down and making it thinner and getting those vines out of it. And this loner. This is supposed to be meat chicken, but it's not. I think we've just d just made up our minds. This is a, a um, Easter egg. And I figured out, I know I got at least one male. There's one rooster right there. Beautiful, beautiful rooster too. But they'll have to go in the pot. They can't stay here. I won't keep them. Anyways, um... Look at that silly quail up on top of the feeder. 
Isn't that crazy? I don't know what he was talking about by the papayas. I guess because uh, the leaves have died back. And that's because of the storm. I had to tell him that. The storm beat it up pretty good. But you, you can see at the top, it's still alive. See there? It's, it's uh, still alive at the top, so that'll be fine. Now, I am thinking about taking this one out because it's too high and possibly that one over there too and I wish I could break it off like this one did so that it has it has smaller branches going out but uh, yeah I meant to cut this up but it's still over here I didn't take it back there see how that one's you know uh, drying up but it's still green at the top, so it ought to be pretty good still. And I need to take this back there and uh, chop it up. And this thing always into everything. I don't know what I'm going to do with this dog. Anyways. I got any this is the holes that she'd been digging a little heifer she's trying to dig up my tree here I think looky there there's one for daddy yeah they've been after these they don't even get ripe now they don't even let them get ripe that one's not going to be edible see how they've been chewing on it that squirrel is damaged But I got plenty more uh, blooms right in there, so that's good. I'd like to do something other to keep them off there. And remember how I cut this uh, um, trumpet down? Now I'm going to have to cut it again because that limb is over there. I'm going to have to cut that off. Because I don't want the limb, I mean, I don't want the thingy tore up. Looky here. Looky here. I got me some. Mm mm. That's good. That's my, uh. Dang, she's after something. Get it, Ginger. <laughs> 